Ladies and gentlemen, let's read Gaming Telecom video. Let us discuss the new generation of Maxwell GPUs based on the Titan 2 core. So, rumors are abound that the new Titan 2 core, which is supposedly going to be launched at some point in the second quarter of 2015, there's already engineering sh samples that have basically started to be shipped out. Now, these engineering samples are very small in quantity. We're talking, for example, two or three, and they're pretty much going around to different uh, facilities, for example, in, say, Bangalore. Now, these engineering samples, and they're known as GM200A1 graphics processor. And basically speaking, after those were shipped out, it then moved to A2. And then eventually, of course, it will be mass produced. Now, it does seem that this new processor, just like the GM204, is going to be built on existing 28nm silicon fabrication. Um, so. No 16 or say 20 nm, indeed it's going to remain on 28. But the really, really big thing is that it's going to feature over, ready, 4,000 CUDA cores. The exact number is unknown, but the rumor and what we're hearing is that it's going to have at least over 4,000. Now, TSMC, who of course are manufacturers, just aren't able to set up the next generation 20nm nodes. Um, it basically, the volumes and the quantities and the speed that's required. So, this means that the GPU itself is going to be, let's just go with big. Current reports are that it's going to be over 600mm um, in, t in terms of size. And is once again going to, of course, feature a larger memory bus. It's going to be 512-bit. No mention on the clock speed or the amount of RAM yet. But what would appear to be happening is that the GM204 is going to be released at some point in, well, this year. Uh, the rumors are pointing it to be somewhere in the fourth quarter. My guess, and pure guess, is going to be like November-ish time. Um, and that's going to be the 880, and there's also going to be the 860. Now, the 880 is supposedly going to feature about 3,000 processors. It's going to be um, uh, exactly half the amount for uh, the 860. So, in other words, the 880 GTX is going to be a little bit faster than, say, the 780 Ti. So, what this basically means, for those of you who are considering buying a GPU, is it's a bit tricky to know what to do. Um, unless you're buying like the bleeding edge, you're probably not going to be too affected by this. If you are considering the bleeding edge, it also depends on the frequency that you're willing to upgrade. So for example, if you're one of those people who upgrades regularly, um, let's say you're one of those who upgrade every opportunity you can, then it's certainly no, not going to really affect you buying the 780 Ti because what I'd personally suggest is that if you've got that money to spare, you could easily sell it on eBay. You will, of course, take a loss, but you could sell it and then get the next generation Titan. And, of course, there will be rumors beforehand. So you could basically do, like, the hustle where you trade it in, like, a couple of weeks before it's formally shipped and so on. And there are always ways to kind of maximize your profits on GPU sales anyway, same as any compart sale. But let's just be honest here. The Titan 2... Um, and it's derivatives. Like, for example, I'm running the 780 Ti, and the only major complaint I have with it is actually the amount of memory. It's perfect for 1440p, it's got more than enough, but I've noticed the frame buffer does start getting a little saturated when you're dealing with, say, crisis, specifically with high levels of anti-aliasing, um, especially when it's less efficient uh, AA, such as, say, MSA A times, say, 4. And that could be a bit of a problem. So even SLI um, doesn't really help with that, obviously, because at the end of the day, both frame buffers are, well, filled with exactly the same data. It's not like they're splitting the workload. So that could be a bit of a problem. So what I'm personally hoping is the next generation cards do offer a little bit more. Obviously, that's one reason why people do go with the Titan Blacks. Um, because of the extra amount of memory, although some 780 Ti's now are equipped with a bit of extra RAM. But certainly for those of us who are targeting like 1440p or below, it's not really a big deal because most games now simply can't fill up the frame buffers. Um, 
you know, you're looking at like two gigs of RAM or below in fact in some cases. So what I am personally hoping is we see a situation where NVIDIA do add a little bit of extra RAM to make up for the extra GPU power. It would make sense, since they are increasing the bus width anyway, to naturally add that extra little bit of RAM. Personally, I'm hoping that, say, for example, the 880 GTX features just throwing out there, but let's say 4 gigs. That would be a quite nice amount of memory, I think, uh, for that part, and hopefully the Titan would naturally extend to, say, at least 6, preferably even... Eight. Obviously, most of this does depend on the size of the RAM chips and so on. The rumors are that it's going to be at least 8 gigs of RAM, however. There's also no mention of clock speeds whatsoever, and there's also no mention of things such as ROPs and TMUs. NVIDIA, if there's one area people have been critical of, other than the lack of RAM, some people have been a little critical on the lack of ROPs on the devices. Um, of course, there was the whole titan z scenario of course titan z is basically two titan blacks strapped together um very much like say in amd's uh 295 x2 brain fault there but it's extremely expensive for what you get it's like 3k versus amd's you know 1500 that's us dollar prices and to be honest with you the performance for the Titan Z is not that great, um, especially when you consider that the two cores are actually lower in clock speed than traditional Titan Blacks, so there's definitely that to consider. So hopefully speaking, what we see is some really good competitive parts for from NVIDIA. Um, I'd personally recommend it's not a bad option to basically buy now. The problem is, from what we understand, and the rumours do keep changing, so there is definitely some mist and fog over the exact scenario, but from what we understand, what, what's basically happening is that they're going to be starting off with 28 NM until at least some point uh, until mid next year, and then they're going to be moving on, tradi um, transitioning onto a smaller process, 16 NM, and indeed, as I've reported in a different video, there are some reports that we're actually going to be seeing two variants, especially from, like, say, the GTX 880. Some reports say that we're going to be seeing the 880 released this year in a 28NM variant, and then next year we're going to be seeing it re-released. I don't know how that's going to work, whether it's going to be a rebranding, as in, for example, it'll be called the 880A, or whether it will be called, like, the GTX 880 Awesome Edition, or what. I don't think we're going to be seeing a straight brand replacement. I don't think we're going to be seeing, like, a GTX 880 replaced by a 20, uh, GTX 880 with, you know, the actual specifics hidden, because it would piss customers off a lot, especially if, for example, you bought one around launch time thinking that you bought a 28 nm one but in reality sorry a, a 16 nm one but in reality the the store you bought it from were actually to ship you the 28 and because it wasn't stated differently and their product place page was maybe a little bit um all over the shop and it actually just gave specifications you couldn't really send it back unless you use like distance and regulations i don't know how that works in the united states though i imagine in some cases, you have to pay a lot of restock fees, which absolutely sucks. So I imagine a, uh, NVIDIA would probably want to avoid that because it would piss customers off. And then, of course, there's the whole situation of what's the time frame is going to be like. For example, if it's like two months later and you were to buy a and you were after launch, so let's say, for example, it launches in, say, late November, the 880 GTX, and let's say early February, you could buy the uh, yeah, the 16 NMs. You would be pretty pissed if there was like a large difference in, say, clock speed or whatever. So there's definitely a lot of things that are up in the air right now. Anyway, hopefully you've enjoyed the video. I'll see you soon. Take care and bye for now.